In the very beginning of 2019, I have joined Gold Knights and started working with the team and especially with studio's creative director Pavel on the last Oracle game. One of the first steps was to define key pillars and unique selling points of our new brand. And we very soon realized that co-op is one of those features. It is quite surprising that such a strong feature is mostly missing in this subgenre of core RPGs. It is easy to add co-op into an RPG game? Definitely not. But it is a lot of fun to have it in there. From the very beginning, it was clear that The Last Oricru has to work fully as this single-player experience. We don't want players to feel they are missing something if they play alone, but at the same time, we want a really solid co-op gameplay that you can share with your friends or loved ones. If I give you an example, you can see the big spider, which is quite challenging in single player. Now let's take a look in two players. The second player can take this path, climb this ladder, and use this lever to drop down the gate. And if he times it right, the gate can simply kill the spider without any further fight necessary. This is one of situations where you can just, in two players, solve the problem differently. Then you have spells which are designed around co-op a lot. Let's say this electric chain. Players are connected by this chain and damage every enemy between them. So it's about clever movement of two players, not being hit, avoid other enemies and make as much damage as possible. You can resurrect the other player, so you can make gameplay more smooth, let's say, and help each other. You and your partner can uh, level up uh, your avatars in different skills. So one can go full brute force, use two-handed weapons and heavy armors, and the second player can go more towards magic and agility, or you can combine those things as you like and uh, think is fun. The last Oricro is built from levels, which are in some cases quite big. It is smart to stay together because the game is more challenging uh, when there are two players uh, locked in. But if you are brave enough, <laughs> then you can split and find your own agenda in the level. But you've been warned, it isn't easy to stay alone in the game for two. On the other hand, you may find that risk has its rewards and you can, for example, open some doors for another player, uh, make some shortcuts, etc. It's great to experience the whole game, the whole story together, but the game is quite long, so you need a few evenings for that. That is why we decided to make our co-op a drop-in, drop-out. Player 1 is always the main hero of the game. He makes decisions, speaks to NPCs. The second player is his or her heart light hologram and can be turned on and off at any terminal which is scattered around the world and serve as a safe location where you can use collected experience points. You can play together for one level uh, in the middle of the game or your friend can help you to defeat one boss you weren't able to defeat and then uh, he can lock off and you can continue your journey in a single player if you want. The second player will always level up to the, to the level of the first player. Basically, if I give you an example, you play with me, uh, then we split, I make eight levels and then when you join me, you have eight more skill points to invest into your own abilities. It might be a surprising information for someone who is following news about our game, but it's true, online is also the thing in uh, The Last Recru. We first started with split screen only, but then after many players from our community, same as many journalists, ask about online, we decided to invest more time, energy and resources into the development and edit online co-op from the day one. Both is fun. In one case, you have the whole screen for you. In the second case, you have quite intense experience sitting next to each other on the couch. And we believe that the co-op will be a big feature that can give you a whole new way to play through the game. We find out uh, in our offices that co-op is quite fun. So we are just sitting here and, and playing, you know, and no one is working. No, I'm just kidding. We are working intensively. So be aware, the revolution is coming later this year. <laughs>